In Activity 10, Wedges, students discuss the properties of a wedge that enable it to be classified as a simple machine. Students first observe the use of inclined planes in wedges, then use a wedge to perform work, and finally observe how wedges make doing work easier. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 10, Nails, and Rivets. You will also need to provide pairs of safety goggles, hammers, metric rulers, pieces of scrap wood, and pictures of boats, airplanes, and race cars. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 10 for each student. Several days before the activity, gather enough hammers and pictures of boats, planes, and race cars so that each team of four has one. Parents may be able to contribute hammers for use in this activity. Make sure to collect scrap pieces of wood for use in this activity. They are often available at construction sites or lumber yards. Each piece of wood should be thicker than the length of the nail, about 5 centimeters. Each student will also need a pair of safety goggles and a nail, and each team of four will need a rivet, a hammer, a scrap of wood, at least 5 centimeters thick, and a metric ruler. To begin the activity, explain to the students that they will investigate a fifth type of simple machine in this activity, but do not tell them which one. Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 10, a pair of safety goggles, and a nail to each student, and a scrap of wood, a hammer, a rivet, and a metric ruler to each team. Have the students inspect the nails, in particular how the two ends of the nail differ. Ask them to record their observations on the activity sheet. Descriptions should include the length, width, and shape of both ends of the nail. Have the students draw on their activity sheets a picture of the pointed end of a nail. Ask students, how would you describe the shape of the pointed end of the nail? The students' descriptions should resemble facts like the point of the nail is V-shaped, slanted, and so on. Explain that the point of a nail is a kind of simple machine called a wedge. Ask students, what other simple machine does the point of a nail remind you of? The point of a nail should remind students of an inclined plane. Draw an inclined plane and a wedge on the board and show the students how a wedge can be thought of as two inclined planes placed back to back. Point out that the nail is actually made up of four inclined planes that form a wedge at the end of the nail. Next, have each student drive a nail into his or her team's scrap of wood. Tell students to put on their safety goggles. Advise students to tap the nail lightly a few times to start the hole before pounding the nail all the way in. After all students have had an opportunity to drive a nail and record their observations, ask, did you do work? How could you tell? Students should respond that work was done because force was applied and the nail moved a distance. Next, have students try to hammer the rivet into the scrap of wood. Tell students that they should not use excessive force to try to drive the rivet into the wood. After everyone has finished experimenting and recording their observations, ask students which was more difficult to drive into the wood, the nail or the rivet. A student should say that the rivet was more difficult to drive than the nail. Then ask, when you pound a nail into a block of wood, what is the pointed end of the nail causing the wood to do? Explain that the point of the nail acts as a wedge, pushing the wood apart. Next, ask students to recall their work with inclined planes in the previous activity. Specifically, remind them that although an inclined plane allows you to exert less force to move an object, you have to move the object a greater distance to do the same amount of work. For instance, the longer the inclined plane, the more distance and less force required to move an object. Ask students, how could you modify a nail to make it even easier to drive into the wood? A student should realize that increasing the length of the inclined plane at one end of the nail, which would in effect sharpen the point, would make the nail easier to drive into the wood. Finally, distribute pictures of boats, airplanes, and race cars to the teams. Have the students examine the pictures and record their observations on Activity Sheet 10. Ask students, how are boats, airplanes, and race cars shaped? Guide students to understand that the outsides of these objects are wedge-shaped to allow them to separate the air or water as they move through it. Then, instruct students to answer question 6 on their activity sheets. To conclude the activity, discard the rivets and the scraps of wood with the nails in them. For science background, reinforcement activities,
curriculum connections and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.